Ten years ago, a friend gave me a book about something called Wabi Sabi. The book opened my eyes to an extraordinary idea, a Japanese view of the world that seems to celebrate the beauty of imperfection. Ever since then, I've wanted to come here to find out more. Ah, oh, here you go. It's Marcel Theroux. That's a thing you've got a reservation for me. So I had a favour. I wonder if you could help me. Um, I'm, I'm, I've come from London. I'm interested in finding out about Wabi Sabi. And I was wondering if you could write Wabi Sabi for me in, uh, in Japanese characters. Hello? Do you know what it is? Yeah. What is it? What is Wabi Sabi? Mm. Yeah. What, it, what is it? Uh, what does it mean? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll ask someone else. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. I, yeah. This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. This is the start of a dream I've had for a decade. A journey across Japan to find the real meaning of Wabi Sabi. I've never set foot here before, but I feel as though Wabi Sabi has given me a connection to this place. It's a difficult idea to explain, but as far as I understand it, Wabi Sabi is the beauty of things that are not quite perfect, which are unfinished, random. As soon as I started looking for it, I felt like I could see it everywhere, and it seems like the perfect antidote to the materialism of modern life. An ideal of beauty that you can find in a broken pot or a handful of leaves. But Wabi Sabi is supposed to go deeper than this. It's said to be a fundamental part of the Japanese identity. And if that's true, I think there's a lot we can learn from them. Tokyo is an extraordinary introduction to Japan, but it also feels a bit like a western city on steroids. And emerging into the fashionable Shibuya district, there's no immediate sign of Wabi Sabi at all. I'm, I'm trying to find out about Wabi Sabi. Wabi Sabi. No, no, Wabi Sabi one on this guy. Wabi Sabi. Wabi Sabi. Difficult, difficult to explain. Very much. What, what are you doing? I'm trying to find out about Wabi Sabi. I've come from England to find out about Wabi Sabi. Well, you, you can't just find. Why? <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Do you speak English? Do you speak any English? Yeah, yeah. I can speak English. Fantastic. 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 What is Wabi Sabi? What? Wabi Sabi. Wabi Sabi. Yeah, Wabi yeah. Sabi. Japanese heart. Japanese heart. I'm trying to find out about Wabi Sabi. Wabi Sabi. Does it, does it say in your phone? Wabi wa. She's so de, she's gonna crush your tanoshimu koto. Wabi Sabi or oh, Wabi Sabi? Wabi Sabi. Yeah, Wabi Sabi. Ah, kore, are you ready? あの、国語とかでさ、ある。お詫びしましたとか、そういう意味、sorry。sorry。詐欺。詐欺。詐欺。え、詐欺って。アクシデントだ。アクシデント。アクシデント。アクシデント。アクシデント。アクシデント。ア
But these are ordinary Japanese people, and if wabi-sabi is really part of their culture, they surely should know what it means. But it's dawning on me that all the books I've read about wabi-sabi are by Westerners, and maybe they're just wrong. Some of these books make it sound so simple, I think maybe too simple in some cases. Some of them it's just a kind of part of a one-size-fits-all Eastern spirituality that you know might or might not include Reiki, Tai Chi, Feng Shui. It would be distressing for me if Wabi Sabi just became another part of consumer culture and people marketed Wabi Sabi perfumes and underwear and encouraged you to have a Wabi Sabi corner of your house and you know and that's my new Wabi Sabi wardrobe that I spent 1500 quid on would be I think a travesty of what I understand by Wabi Sabi. My business hotel room feels like a little bubble with no connection to the world outside. I've slipped on my standard issue Yukata dressing gown. But neither it nor the heated toilet seat is bringing me any closer to Wabi Sabi. I feel like I need to get out of here and find some way to get acquainted with the real Japan. A family have agreed to put me up for a few nights. They live in the suburbs of Tokyo, in a place called Hiyoshi. It's a 20-minute ride on the express train from the heart of the city. It's Marcel. Hi. Is that Mrs. Aomoto? I'm oh, Marcel. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mr. Iwamoto. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Hi. I found the Iwamoto family through a company that organises homestays. I bought you some flowers. Thank you. I'm hoping they'll be able to lead me closer to Wabi Sabi enlightenment. I met a lot of people who don't even, you know, didn't seem to uh, know what I was talking about. So I started to get a bit worried that maybe I was on a fool's errand. Did you already find uh, the hint or wabi hint of wabi sabi? Yes, maybe a little, maybe a teeny hint. Uh -huh. That's exactly what I found, mm -hmm. a hint of wabi sabi. But I'm hoping to find the full wabi sabi. Oh, I, I've I've took some pictures which I mm -hmm. thought were wabi sabi. Mm -hmm. you, can I show you my wabi sabi pictures? Sure. I have to give you some context though. You've got to remember that I'm a I'm not a photographer, and I just took these near my house because. I thought Wabi Sabi was the be was beauty of imperfection, mm -hmm. you know, the beauty of imperfect things. So I took pictures on Tooting Common, mm -hmm. which is a common near where I live, and I just took things like leaves and you know mm -hmm. leaves and objects. I thought the, to me this is what I thought was Wabi Sabi was this kind of was a sort of a, a, a visual mm -hmm. aesthetic, you know, things mm -hmm. like that. I don't know, mm -hmm. is that Wabi Sabi? Yeah, they have wabi sabi. They have wabi sabi. Yeah. They have wabi sabi. They have wabi sabi. <laughs> <laughs> but you might just be polite. Yeah. <laughs> so it is very difficult uh, for Japanese uh, to describe what wabi sabi is. Yes. Um, maybe most of Japanese know the word. Of yeah. wabi sabi, yeah. and kind of sense, uh, like this picture. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think wabi sabi is in uh, our soul. I mean. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's more spiritual. It's spiritual yeah. sense. Yeah, wabi sabi is in our soul, says my host Yaz. I wonder if the photos I took are even close to what they feel it really I means. I agree with you, it does, and that's my son. <laughs> he isn't Wabi Sabi, but he is. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, our room. Th yeah. This is your room? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, this is uh, your room. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, uh, so we are sorry for the uh, some kind of... The Lego. Don't apologize. I love Lego. <laughs> I sleep on here. Yeah. Great. It's up. 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 It's
It's funny, we keep being told that the world is getting smaller and we're all becoming the same. But I feel like I'm as far from home as I've ever been, but in a good way. I like it here. You need coffee? No, I'm just practicing my Japanese. Arimaska. 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 This is the Iwamoto's room. And this is my room. With a discreet sliding door between us. Every morning, Yaz joins the mass of exhausted commuters heading for the city centre. Tokyo's huge. Getting on for 13 million people live here, with another 2 or 3 million commuting into work every day. Yaz is a marketing man, working for a small company that arranges study trips abroad. Another sense from his jaunty yellow jumper that he might be a bit of a maverick. But Yaz tells me that he respects traditional Japanese values and that if I'm to understand wabi-sabi, I must get to grips with them. So before I leave him for the day, he invites me to attend his company's daily morning meeting where the staff line up and repeat a sort of mantra of polite formalities. It's a scene played out in workplaces throughout Japan. <laughs> I can't imagine an office in the UK doing this without breaking down in fits of self-conscious giggles. Hello, my name's Marcel. Um, I've come to Japan to find out about Wabi Sabi. <laughs> I hope it's not as silly as I, an idea as it seems to be, judging by your laughter. <laughs> I'm worried that my quest strikes them as funny because they think it's impossible. Yes, said Wabi Sabi was part of the Japanese soul. But that soul seems hidden behind a lot of ritual and formality. I ask one of Yaz's colleagues to explain to me what's going on. So we're trying to, you know, the more sincere than, you know, the just the business ties. In. So we're just practicing those daily greetings towards the customers. Practicing sincerity seems a bit of a contradiction in terms to me. It makes me wonder, are people so welcoming in Japan because they really fundamentally mean it, or because it's the done thing. I've left Yas at work for the day. I need to make sure that I'm not barking up the wrong tree. So I've come here to brush up my Japanese art history. <laughs> 